Why is young Sheldon wrapping up already after season seven? Why? A lot of fans were caught off guard by the recent news that the upcoming seventh season of Young Sheldon will be its last. Why are the creators finishing this popular Big Bang Theory spin-off so soon? So you'll end it. As viewers keep up with the Cooper family adventures every week, the decision makes sense when you break it down. I have three pretty straightforward reasons why season seven is going to be the final curtain call. Tell me about it. Reason one is the age of Young Sheldon. Played wonderfully by Ian Armitage, he is getting older fast as the show goes on. We have watched Ayen grow up before our eyes on screen already. He is going to be a teenager soon, and some viewers already think young Sheldon himself is getting too mature. Even during season six, fans pointed out that Ian Armitage looks older than his character is meant to be at that age. I'm getting too old for this crud. As the seasons have gone on, there is a visible disconnect between the boy genius plotlines showing kid activities while visually Sheldon looks nearly like a teenager. Many fans said, trying to still pass him off as a really young kid feels forced and stretches believability too far. There were concerns that going beyond season seven would make that age gap hard to ignore. So the show likely recognized they were already pushing it in terms of selling Ian's version of Sheldon being much younger than the actual actor's biological age. My second reason is that adult Sheldon already told us about a very sad event in his past. His father, George Cooper, George, Sheldon's dad, passing away from a sudden heart attack when Sheldon was age 14. Since Sheldon's 14th birthday is coming up in the timeline of young Sheldon season seven, they have to deal with losing George this year. Given George's big role, writing off such an important character will impact all the other stories they probably wanted to still tell. It's a big blow for the writers, but they wrote themselves into this corner by committing to adult Sheldon's backstory from Big Bang. Made a horrible mistake. So now they have to see it through. The third and final reason getting to seven seasons and ending is a smart move is that it frees up space for new Big Bang Theory spinoff. Smart move. Without young Sheldon taking up airtime anymore, the creators can focus on shows all about Georgie, Mandy, Missy, or other characters we love moving forward as adults. New show mean more chances for our favorite actors to come back in new roles. Young Sheldon is good. How about young family guy? I know as fans, it is upsetting to think of saying goodbye to young Sheldon and his family so soon, when the show still feels fresh and fun each week. However, when you consider the child actors aging, plus writing in George's sad death, plus more spin-off opportunities, you can understand why the producers decided season seven was the right time to wrap up this chapter on a high note. We'll always have reruns to revisit young Sheldon's childhood adventures. And soon we will have new shows focusing on Georgie, Missy, and maybe even more familiar faces from the young Sheldon world. So try not to be too sad. The end of season seven is just the exciting beginning of a new era to come.